Vulva massage is the first step in becoming orgasmic because that's the first expression of sexuality, taking your hand, <laughs> putting it on your sex organ and making that neural connection to the mind. Mm -hmm. So that's our first moment of sexual repression when we're children and we put our hand down and the hand is moved away or slapped. Sometimes I'm working with clients and they'll say it took me two, three, four times sitting down to do it before I could. And they don't understand why. Mm -hmm. Because it's the first moment of sexual repression. Yes. And it's the first step in becoming sexual. And it's very, very simple. What are the, some of the ways that we touch our vulvas that can feel good? Well, I always like, you know, when you get oil, having a lot of oil is so important because it increases pleasure. It reduces uh, friction. So when you think about going to get a massage or anytime you touch skin, oil just makes it more pleasurable. So a good quality almond oil, coconut oil, you can even use olive oil or avocado oil, you know, some, make sure that you've got plenty nearby because you may need to add some more. Just, just really even before you, you use motion, I'd say hug your vulva, you know, just put your hand relax, breathe. <sighs> yes. And then you can start doing a hand over hand stroke. Like I always say it's like a cat cleaning itself. Yes. It makes connection in the mind. Yes. You start like in your perineum, just below your vaginal opening, come up and then replace it with your other hand. And then after you do that a few times, I always like to even just dip a finger like right in between my outer labia, you know, and then you just get this, ooh, you know, you're teasing yourself. I think sometimes when we touch, we go for the clitoris first and that's the last place. So Carlin, where would you go next? Oh, well, I always like to do the wishbone. And I used to do it with my hands like this. So here's your clitoris, your inner and outer labia, and you're going in between your inner and outer labia. Mm -hmm. And I like to kind of warm up there and get everything going. Then I was working with a client that used a hand on each side to do the wishbone. And I thought, wow, I never thought of that. Why am I just using two fingers when I have two hands? Right. So yes. I like to kind of do those long strokes Mm -hmm. I even like to massage the outside of my outer labia and just start there and get everything because you're kicking off the blood flow. Mm -hmm. And lately, my outer labia are quite sensitive. Ah, yes. So I love to start there and then I do my wishbone. Um, and I think vulvas are like touching velvet and I pay attention to how mm -hmm. good it feels. They're so supple. Yes. It's like rose petals. Everything is soft. Yes. Yes. And even like the difference between like last time, I, last night I gave myself a vulva massage and I just ran my fingers on the edge of my outer labia. You know, I tend to really go, but this was just the edge. And I thought, wow, that feels really good. And I just put, you know, a finger on either side and went up and down. Um, so many places to explore and we all have different techniques um, and, and so many good places to try. Um, another good area is the inguinal crease. And that is that crack, like where your leg meets your outer labia. Okay. Just taking your hands and, you know, you can do it a couple of ways. You can go up and down this way, or, you know, you can use the sides of your hands, but getting blood flow into that area. Now what's under there? Why does it feel good? the legs of your clitoris are under there, right? So you're stimulating that area and you're getting blood flow, which helps with your erection, which leads to arousal. So, you know, not starting like right with the clit is good. Getting blood flow to that whole area. So under your outer labia, what's there? The bulbs of your clitoris, right? So it's not going to feel as intense as touching on your clitoral glands, but it's going to feel good. When I work with disabled clients that can't feel their clitorises at all, mm -hmm. they can always feel the inguinal crease. Yeah. They always go, oh, that feels nice. Mm -hmm. So we can start there with our hands. And it's really what, it, what you're doing is paying attention to where it feels best. 
Yes. Sometimes I vary the pressure. Yes. Sometimes I'll just take one finger and go really light. Then I put a couple of fingers in and push in a little and see, and I go in a circle or I go yeah. in a tap. Seeing what I respond to, my body responds to, because it's yes. different for every woman. So I think paying attention with every single stroke, think about like the number of fingers that you're touching, because it's going to feel different. Try it with one, then two, then, you know, all of your fingers. And then even like if you're doing some kneading strokes on your outer labia, you know, like get into it, you know, with the whole hand. And then pressure is another one. You can do just light, barely touching, and it can just feel exquisite. You know, you might like medium pressure, or do you like a heavy, firm pressure? Um, You know, like a deep tissue massage that's really going to get into the internal clitoris. Now, would I use that on the glands of my clitoris? Probably not. (laughs) Um, You know, so you really have to experiment the number of fingers, pressure, And then also speed. Do you like it really slow? And there are some areas where you're just going to like, oh, that just feels so good. You know, do you like a more medium speed? Do you like a faster speed? Like I'm thinking specifically with tapping. Um, And I always, (laughs) when I work with clients, I like use my nose as my clitoris. So, (laughs) you know, that's what I'm doing to demonstrate. So think about tapping. Try one finger two fingers, you know, the whole, all your fingers is going to give you more surface area. And again, this isn't just about your clit. It's really about anywhere. And then think speed, you know, you might like it slow, like a raindrop, you know, that's just, or a dripping faucet that's just drip, drip. You might like it quicker, or you might even like it faster, you know, and then you can even like pat your whole vulva with your hand. I like to start off with the whole over pat. Because mm-hmm. I pat the outer lay, I pat all over, and I feel like the blood flow goes. Yes, and then I then I can go in with a softer touch. Yes, 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 and it might change as you become more aroused too. Well, you know, <laughs> ooh, another one with the labia too. And Betty demonstrated this in Viva La Vulva, um, where you can take your labia and even like pinch and stretch. See if that feels comfortable to you. I mean, never do anything that's painful. But well, sometimes it's a light pinch and a light yeah. pull, just right. kind of like you would pull your earlobe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it feels good to just like you know pulling my earlobes like right now, like ooh yeah, that it feels <laughs> nice. It kind of opens things up, and that's what we're doing because when we pull and pinch, we're just that's a form of touch. And so when right. I'm doing that to my outer labia, when do you get a good pussy massage? Never. Right. 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 Yeah. You can have partner sex and not get a good pussy massage. I pay for that. <laughs> right. <laughs> so even like, you know, like, and, and you'll find you gravitate toward one thing or another. Like, you know, when you start focusing a little bit more on your clitoris, a lot of women like circles, you know, but see one finger, two fingers. And then I always tell clients, once you start, go the other way. Because one way is going to feel better than the other. It's usually the first way that you picked. But, you know, it's good to know, like, and then that helps you communicate with a partner, too, because you know, the direction, oh, I like counterclockwise, or I like clockwise, you know, and then that that further helps. Um, you know, another one too is just, and you'll see a lot of women, it's just kind of like this horizontal back, back and forth. forth. Yeah. Yeah. I like and to then, do that with the clitoral shaft. If you do the wishbone, that little ligament that connects the clitoral gland to the pubic bone, and you kind of go back to either a flutter mm-hmm. or a side to side, that's the one area that most women find um, pleasurable to touch. Not and necessarily you- directly on the clit, but the clitoral shaft. Yes, the shaft. And then sometimes like just going up over the clitoral hood and just, you know, going back and forth too. Mm -hmm. So it can be like the shaft on the side, you know, it could be further up, you know, that indirect, the clitoris is moving, you're moving the clitoris. Mm -hmm. So the clitoral glands, it's, it will start to feel pressure. Um, You know, when you think the horizontal movement, some women I've watched also like up and down, Mm -hmm. you know, the more vertical Um, And I have clients, they'll use one finger very lightly and go past their clit, past the vaginal opening up again, this very soft, light stroke. Yes. 
Yes. My teenage masturbation strategy was the flutter. And so I would put my fingers on either side of the clitoral shaft. But again, I was a two-handed girl. So I'd put one finger on either side and just flutter on the clitoral shaft. And then my clitoral glands would move. And oh, I mean, I could orgasm big time, you know. (laughs) And you can move it down to just your inner labia and see how you like it there. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Because sometimes it's the top. Sometimes it's at the in the middle and sometimes it's further by the di- uh, bottom. And I think sometimes that depends on what vulva style we have. Yes. Right. If you have beautiful, long, full dangling inner labia, you can do a lot with those. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Explore around the vaginal opening, too, and your perineum. Um, and then even, you know, the mons, I, I like, you know, in addition to my outer labia, I like to massage just that area oh, wow. above. Um, there, there are so many places that you can explore and pleasure and it's going to change for you. So it's kind of like a constant exploration. Um, oh, yes. I love it. Like the outside of my vaginal opening it, there's all those nerve endings. And so when we play at the hole, we call it, we stay on the outside and we touch and we feel, and then we put in a little bit of finger and we maybe do one finger and pull it out, sense the space. Oh, the buildup to penetration becomes so hot. You right. know, staying at the outside. And after having my son, I had a C-section. I didn't have a vaginal birth, but my perineum, that little area below the vaginal opening mm-hmm. that has erectile tissue that is so sensitive now. And I'll put my hand on my vibrator right there is my warm up. It's like, so the sensation can travel to the different erogenous zones of your vulva. Yes. You got to get the blood flow started because mm-hmm. on average it's 14 minutes before we hit our first orgasm. So mm-hmm. that's how long it takes to get all of that blood flow into our erectile tissue that's inside our body. So just like a man can't ejaculate unless he's erect, we can't orgasm unless we're erect and we start with our hand always. Yes. And then further down the line if we want we can put a vibe in, but when we start with our hands and we make that connection and we figure out our preference of where Mm -hmm. and how we like to be touched. Mm -hmm. Now we can start exploring with, okay, how far can I take this and getting on the edge? Because from vulva massage, very often we can get to that first orgasm. Mm -hmm. To get to the full body is going to take about 28 minutes. And that's when vibrators can become helpful. But if Mm -hmm. you touch your vulva every day, Mm -hmm. even if you're just giving her a hug, rubbing her a little bit. It's like the blood flow is going, we're lighting up the pleasure network. We're making Mm -hmm. the neural connection. The more we touch, the more we feel. Mm -hmm. 